Welcome to the old Lumens channel. I uh, thought I'd take a couple minutes and just show you how I make a uh, copper heat sink. Um, these little flashlights, these two flashlights I have, the uh, pill is hollow and I've taken out the uh, board and taken out the emitter because I'm going to replace the emitter. But it doesn't allow for really any good heat sinking so I'm going to make a, a copper pill that will fit inside of that okay um, I'm just uh, using copper fittings from the hardware store and I'll show you I have a, a half inch uh, three-eighths and quarter inch copper end caps. All right. Now I still have a hole in the center and I could just fill that with solder but solder is not the absolute best um, <clears throat> conductor so uh, I keep my scrap copper when I make stuff and then I can take and cut that up and toss it in there. I mean, hey, copper's copper, you know, so it fills up some of the area. I'm only going to be using about, you know, half the height of that heat sink anyway, so I'm not going to fill it to the top because I'm going to cut it off. But uh, at least I've got some copper in there. Another thing that I found with these little copper fittings is, and I'll show you with this three-quarter one, you see how that's domed? Okay, that's not going to make a real great heat sink because I want a nice flat one. So what I do on these domed ones to get them flat is I just take a socket that fits the diameter of that copper cap and I take a big hammer and put it down on the on the cement on the floor and smack it with a big uh, big hammer several times to flatten out that cap and it does a, a pretty good job on it you know uh, that's just a an idea to, to make sure that your your heat sink surface is going to be flat and touch real well so now i'm just going to take this and i'm using my little heating stone i've found that these uh, <coughs> little uh, patio blocks uh, work pretty well because they don't tend to heat up much themselves so the heat remains contained in the copper and I'm going to try to do this um, while looking through the, the video camera, so that'll be interesting uh, trying to maneuver here. But. Okay. Shouldn't take too awful long to heat it because of the fact that it is copper. And uh, I'm going to let it let it heat up to where it uh, changes color real good and see if I can't get uh, get some action going here. Taking a little bit of solder, but it's not doing much yet. So let's see if I can't get it heated up to where it will work better. Okay. I'm just going to run that solder in and keep running it in. Try to fill everything up. I've got a bunch of little areas to fill here and this is a rosin core solder. Uh, and that's pretty smelly stuff but at least I know that I'll get a, a, a good fit from it. Or I mean, it, it, I mean it'll, it'll seal up good and, and uh, adhere to the copper with the rosin in it. And we're just trying to work this around, getting all the little areas, get them all filled up with solder. You don't have to have a constant heat once you get it heated up. I 
and it'll stay heated pretty good and then you can just start running that solder in filling that thing up You can see it's plenty hot enough. You can see all, all of the uh, rosin coming to the surface. And that's, uh, that's one of the nice things is the, the rosin, you know, lifts up to the surface so that you have solid copper underneath. And that's probably plenty because like I say, I need to, uh, I need to cut this off anyways. So all I got to do is let that whole thing cool and like I say the stone itself see the stone is is not really not hot at all it's all uh, in that little copper end cap you know and you can see that thing is really hot it's still bubbling up it's going to take several minutes for that to cool down but uh, anyways that's that's my idea of uh, uh, making a copper pill to replace these these hollow pills that we get uh, from these inexpensive lights. And that's it. Thanks. Oh, and I figured I probably ought to show the finished pill since I went as far as I did. I've cut the, the pill down to the right height. Okay. And that'll give you an idea of how that center section comes out. Now you can see there's a hole there, a little bit of rosin that was in that area or air that was in that area I'm not going to worry about it I mean it's you know I got to I got to drill holes for wires anyways so you know I'll go right through that area but uh, overall it, it comes out uh, comes out real nice uh, nice heavy pill and that's the top after it's after it's uh, you know I flattened down that fitting and then uh, smooth it down it'll work real nice to, uh, to go inside of here. I still have to use another piece of copper to tighten up between the two. I'll just use a, like a, a 20 thou copper sheet around it to uh, tighten everything up and uh, it'll work real good when I put my star in there and put that up tight against it. We should at least have a little bit of uh, heat transfer for that star. All right.